Well, hi, and welcome back to another episode of Treacle Matter, your nostalgic connection, where we take a look at the past through a sticky sweet veil of nostalgia and encourage our viewers to let us know in the comments what makes you nostalgic so we can feature it in a future episode. I'm your host, Joseph Nocera, and this is part two of our month of Christmas nostalgia. Today's nostalgic person is heavily associated with the Christmas season. Let's remember Burl Ives. His success started in the early 1940s with his own radio program he called The Wayfaring Stranger. This led him to become a major CBS radio star after appearing in Irving Berlin's This is the Army. His other films of this era include So Dear to My Heart, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and The Big Country for which he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. However, Burl Ives remains most associated with the Christmas season after he lent his voice to Sam the Snowman, who narrates the Rankin-Bass stop-motion Christmas special Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He recorded the title song as well as Holly Jolly Christmas, which continues to top the holiday charts even into the 2020s. Our nostalgic place has become even more nostalgic since its disappearance a few years ago. Who remembers Toys R Us? The ultimate toy store for so many children we all said goodbye to this beloved establishment in 2018 when they filed for bankruptcy. Many of us got the Toys R Us flyer in the mail and circled the toys we wanted and wrote letters to Santa asking him to bring them to us on Christmas Day. With the rise of the big box store through the 60s, this retailer was a literal giant in the toy space. And with Jeffrey the Giraffe as its lovable mascot, many children looked to Toys R Us for inspiration on what to ask for from Santa. Were you a Toys R Us kid? And now for our nostalgic thing. Besides Santa himself, I don't think there's anything quite as synonymous with the Christmas season as snow. Most of the country gets cold enough to have snow, and even those that typically don't dream of a white Christmas. Snowball fights, building snowmen, making snow angels, and catching flakes on your tongue are just some of the fun things you can do with the white stuff. Emphasis on white, don't eat the yellow snow, and then of course there's shoveling it, which is just as bad if not worse than raking leaves which we covered in our fall episode. And driving in the snow? Hope you have all-wheel drive. So the big question is, do you sing let it snow, let it snow, let it snow? It's beautiful to look at, especially during the Christmas season, but it can be a nuisance once the festivities are over. Retromercial time. Here's a sweet Christmas commercial that I've heard some people say it just isn't Christmas until they've seen it. Check it out. <clears throat> Maybe it's the simplicity, those iconic candies that everyone seems to give out, the sound of the bells playing We Wish You a Merry Christmas, I don't know, but as far as commercials go, it's considered a classic to many. Maybe it's just so good because they don't have to say anything. Do you love Hershey Kisses? I sometimes get them in my stocking. Oh man, here's another one of my favorite Christmas animation sensations. And yep, it's another Rankin Bass special, The Little Drummer Boy. As a kid, I couldn't quite appreciate this one as much as the others. I thought it was kind of dry. I mean, it does take place in the desert. But over the last decade, this has become a beloved annual tradition to me. Narrated by Greer Garson, whose voice definitely makes this production even more nostalgic, it's the beautiful story of how a young boy becomes orphaned by desert thieves, but learns to love again when his lamb is saved by baby Jesus. The songs in this one are fun and moving, like when the goose is hanging high, why can't the animals smile, and of course, the timeless title track the Little Drummer Boy performed by the Vienna Boys Choir. It always brings a tear to my eye and puts me in the spirit of forgiveness and loving your fellow brothers and sisters. Before we continue, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Crochet by Deal. Offering custom handmade wearable items like scarves and hats to adorable Amy Gurumi lovable creatures at affordable prices. Contact Adelia at crochetbydeal at gmail.com and get 10% off when you place your order today. It's a great gift idea for any age and a chance to support a small business. Crochet by Deal, link is in the description. Also, check out all my recent music videos right here on YouTube and my original music on your favorite streaming platforms. Just search Joseph Nocera, 
it's Joseph with an F. Follow me on Instagram at Joseph Nocera Music, where you'll find even more content and behind the scenes looks at what I'm up to. Don't forget to like, share, and comment what makes you nostalgic, and subscribe for more episodes of Treacle Matters. And consider supporting the channel on Patreon. Link is in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and now, back to more Treacle Matter. Lord have mercy, it's our Christmas nostalgic knockout. The very sexy Lauren Graham. Most known for her role as Lorelai Gilmore on the hit mother-daughter dramedy, The Gilmore Girls, and more recently on the show Parenthood, which is based off of the amazing 1989 film I covered in episode one, Lauren Graham makes our Christmas nostalgic knockout today because of her role in the very fresh Christmas black comedy, Bad Santa. Starring alongside Billy Bob Thornton, Graham has a Santa Claus fetish in this film, and well, let's just say even though she's been a very naughty girl, it looks like Santa will still be putting something in her stocking on Christmas Eve. What a god! And what pray tell is our monumental moment in music, I hear some of you asking? Well, here it is. The instantly recognizable instrumental jazz standard Linus and Lucy. Written by Vince Guaraldi and named after the fictional brother and sister duo Linus and Lucy Van Pelt, this iconic composition made its way into practically every Peanuts cartoon, but is most associated with Christmas after it debuted in the 1965 classic special A Charlie Brown Christmas. Usually depicted being played on the piano by the Beethoven-obsessed character Schroeder, all the Peanuts characters can be seen dancing to this melody, evoking nostalgia from even the biggest humbugs. And speaking of humbugs, it's time for our feature presentation, which as always is the movie that featured our mystery movie quote from last time. You had to have known this one. It's from the 2000 live action remake of the Dr. Seuss Christmas classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Starring the insanely funny Jim Carrey, I found that folks either love this one or hate it. But most of the people I've run into love it. It's so quotable, really captures the world of Seuss, and as always has a message everyone can get on board with. From hilarious moments like... Oh. Ah. Mmm. That's it, I'm not going. This movie has inspired some of the most popular memes and TikToks. I'm pretty sure I've watched it every year since 2000, and I've definitely seen it more than 21 times. We had it on VHS, which for those of you who don't know, were black rectangles that you put into a VCR. Ask your parents. Anyway, what's your favorite Jim Carrey quote from this rendition of The Grinch? And speaking of The Grinch, here's a Grinchy little mashup for you. You see, even now, the terror is welling up inside you. But you're not scared of anything. Wrong-o. I was today. And to finally, here's your Christmas mystery movie quote. Listen up. I hate people. And I don't care if they hate me. Is this you when the holidays roll around? Hey, and that wraps up episode two of our month of Christmas nostalgia. I certainly hope you enjoyed today's content. I hope it brought back memories, made you feel nostalgic, or maybe even showed you something new. This has been Treacle Matter, your nostalgic connection. I'm your host, Joseph Nocera. Be sure to let us know in the comments what's the most nostalgic part of Christmas to you. Thanks so much for watching, and please stay tuned for another great nostalgic episode next time.